Welcome to another Chicken Nuggets series. We're going to look at UDLD, Unidirectional Link Detection. So this is mostly used on um, fiber. Uh, and one example would be, let's say we have two switches. And we have them connected via one fiber port. Okay. And usually that fiber port has one fiber optic cable to send and one fiber optic cable to receive. What could happen is, um, you know, you could accidentally pull out one of the cables because they come separately. It goes to one port, but there are two that make it up, fiber optic cables. Or a backhoe, you know, digging could nick it or cut something. Right, for example, let's say this is the send side. Over here, this is the S receive. This is the send over here. And let's say this gets cut, this line right here. So what's going to happen? Well, with spanning tree, right, it's going to send uh, stop receiving BPDUs on this switch down here. And after the max age timer of 20 seconds, it just like discards and it's like, oh, it must be a regular port. So listening, learning, and forwarding. That's the IEEE, the old STP. Uh, the newer one is just 15, right? Listening, I think it's learning and then forwarding and whatnot. But anyways, um, it could potentially cause a loop because then the this, this side, this port here will go into a forwarding state instead of a blocking state. Let's say it was blocked and now... <laughs> It's like, oh, there isn't a switch on the other side, so let me just go in the forwarding state, right? So we could have something terribly happen like that with a, with a loop. And that's where UDLD comes into play. And that's usually, you know, most commonly used on fiber ports. But we're going to use this on regular switch ports because <laughs> I don't have a, a huge budget for fiber optic ports. So we're just going to make do. And you can make it work on... on uh, regular Ethernet ports. So you can enable it globally. Um, go to global configuration. And there are two modes for uh, UDLD. There's normal mode and aggressive. So the normal mode, um, if there's a unidirectional um, detection, right, it's not bidirectional, something went wrong on one side, it can't receive, um, it will basically mark the port in an undetermined state and then send a syslog message. It's like, okay, well, that's not really helpful. I mean, that's awesome, normal mode, but you really you want aggressive. So what it'll do in aggressive mode is uh, it'll put the port in an air-disabled state and it'll just like, shut it down, boys. <laughs> so we're going to set it that way. Um, when you set it with the global config command, it will set UDLD on all uh, fiber optic type ports it sees. And since we don't have any, uh, this won't work for us. But you can set that if, if you did. UDLD um, enable for more uh, normal mode or UDLD aggressive for the aggressive. But what we're going to use is this command on the actual interface here. So you go to Fast Ethernet 2, um, UDLD port would just be normal mode, and then aggressive. Um, parameter will add to be aggressive with it. Um, there are some show commands that are helpful. So there's show UDLD and then you can specify the port. And also there's the handy show interfaces, status, air disabled. It'll show other types of air disabled ports as well, like port security that went down or whatever. Um, but it'll also show UDLD. Um, and then also to another handy command is once the ports go down, if you have a lot of them, um, you can go to enable mode here and just do UDLD reset and it'll look at all the ports in an air disabled um, state that were down it went down because of UDLD. Um, it'll do basically do a shut no shut. Right? It'll try to bring the interface back up. So that's a handy command UDLD reset. So that's pretty much there is to it. So let's go ahead and set it up. So let's go to um, switch Two, it doesn't matter, let's start here. So we'll go to global config, um, interface, 0 slash 2, UDLD port, um, and then aggressive. And it'll start sending out messages. It'll say, like, hey, anybody there? Um, you don't have to worry about putting the port in air disabled mode or state because it, ha it basically waits for it to go into a bidirectional state before it'll actually shut it down. So don't worry about... Um, setting it just yet, it, it's it's fine. It's not going to go down on you. And we'll go to the other one. Configure T um, interface two uh, UDLD. Actually, let's do a do show UDLD um, FA0 slash two. You can see uh, it's disabled, disabled, unknown, bidirectional state. Um, let's do a do show 
UDLD on the port that we set to aggressive. So it's in aggressive mode. Um, its state is unknown. It's in advertisement state. So it's sending those um, hellos, like probes, like, hey, is anybody there? Um, it's not going to shut down the port because we've never established that neighbor relationship just yet. So looks like it sends, I think, about eight of them and just sends one every second. Um, you can see that in the uh, Wireshop capture or um, in the events when you do the debugging, it looks like. But let's set up the other side. So UDLD um, port aggressive. And as soon as we do that, it should come back up. You can see, there we go. So now it's um, a bi-directional state detection. There we go. Advertisement, single neighbor detected. So what it'll do is it will send a, basically, you can think of it as a hello probe, uh, whatnot, once by default every 15 seconds, right? So if it misses three of them, which would count up to 45 seconds, the, it would go into an air disabled state. It'll basically shut down the port. As you can see on either side, we're just looking at S2, um, it'll go 45 and it'll count down all the way to, it should go down to 30. And we'll just keep refreshing, refreshing, 33, 31. Uh, then I want to back up to 44, right? So it sends one every 15 seconds. If it misses it, three of these, um, it'll the, the port will go down basically. Let's look at the other side. Uh, do show UDLD um, 0 slash 2. Same spiel. Um, every time it sends a hello to the other side, it resets the, uh, the timer, basically, and refreshes it. So now that it's working, let's go ahead and simulate a failure. Let's say... Um, Let's say the receive on switch two fails. Let's say the receive type. And we're going to simulate that with a Mac um, access list. So we're with the um, UDLD, it's sent to a well known Mac address, destination Mac address of 0100.0ccc.cccc, I believe. So we're just going to, um, on this port coming in here to switch two, we're just going to block it. So I've got it um, saved, notepad, so we're just going to copy the access list. I'll provide it down in the description so you can try it out. Um, switch one, actually we want switch two. Um, and then we'll go out and then we'll paste that in there. So, and then there we go, deny any host and then permit any any I forgot okay so what this does is this is just a bonus tip right here uh, Mac address access list just like IP access list but there's one for Mac addresses I'm denying anything that goes to that well-known Mac address and then permit anything else so I don't like block all traffic and sh <laughs> shut down everything and then I'm gonna go to the interface fa0 slash 2 I'm gonna say Mac access group just like IP access group for the you know routers it's Basically the same thing, a lot of overlap with Cisco. Uh, the name of the access list and in. So before we do that, let's see. So we're going to spread these out. We're going to block it. So as we block it, do show UDLD. You'll notice that the timer go, doesn't get refreshed here, right? So it'll go down from 45, 33, 31. It should have been reset, look, 29. See, right, so we're blocking the um, hellos from S1 to S2, right? We're on S2, and we're blocking it inbound, um, 18. As soon as this goes down to zero, um, it'll try to reestablish a neighbor relationship, like, yo, hello, anybody there? Like, what's going on? And then if it can't, it's just going to, like, shut it down, boys. So it'll shut it down, and you'll notice pretty fast that it's going to go down. There went um, bidirectional state unknown. Link up as you can see up oh, there went air disabled on switch one and you can see um, port air disabled on interface FA0 slash two so that's pretty much there is to it if there's a failure so let's go ahead and take the access list off and to test out a feature we can do um, it's down now 
but let's do show um, interfaces status air disabled so we can see port 2 on this switch and it's the same on the other side it's an air disabled state because of UDLD it's kind of handy um, and then what we'll do is um, let's do UDLD reset which is a handy command and it'll just reset it so it'll attempt to recover from UDLD state um, the line the interface will come back up do the same here um, UDLD reset And it should, let's see, attempting to recover. Um, or you could just go to the interface and do a shutdown, no shutdown. That works too. Um, either way, it's just easier this way instead of typing in a bunch of stuff. So we'll do show UDLD. And let's take a look at the thing. And there we go. It's back up again. So you saw um, how to set it up. It was pretty easy. It was just one command, basically. Right? This we put it on the interface in aggressive mode on both sides, and it just worked. And then we did it in, in, in a MAC access list to block that well-known um, destination MAC address on the UDLD messages just to simulate um, one of those fiber ports. The actual, uh, I guess, um, line in that fiber port, right? It's one port, but there are two fiber optic lines, so we kind of simulated breaking one end. So I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching.